So hmm. why did it take you so long? In a sense that it took you so long, did you not have the guts to follow your dream, or did you just not have a dream of writing at that point? I think it's the latter. I think the education system we go through, the education system I've also gone through, would never identify that for me. That Chetan, you have the ability to connect with people, not just few people, but maybe millions of people. I was only tested for physics, chemistry, maths, which I was fairly good at, and I was fairly good at preparing at it. But that was not my true strength. There are better engineers than me. There are better MBAs than me. But this ability to connect, very few people have. But our education system never brings that out. And I think I would, I was going through the the motions and getting my job in the bank and everything. It took me a while to really figure out. In fact, even when I wrote my first book, because of this killing English accusation, nine different publishers rejected it. And uh, for two years, I was just. Uh, just going around, and I, I was thinking maybe I'm not such a good writer. So only when the first book came and it became big, and second, third, fourth, then I realized, wow, this is really something I can do. And so it took a while to to make the jump. But yeah, but normally if someone writes a book and it sells, you know, two three lakh copies, which is what your book sold I initially, yeah. um, you would think that that would become your profession. Yeah, you know. So you didn't have the guts. No, That's what it I is. didn't have the guts. It's the middle class mentality, which is bank mein naukri hai, kaise chhod sakte ho. And second thing is, you know, Koyal in my personality, I have this underconfidence. It's uh, yeah, it's That's it's very shocking it's, it's, it's hard to explain, but it's so what it's are you a feeling right now when you're at the cusp of your book releasing? Well, the couch or? really is a big shot of self esteem right there because hey. Let's give him a round of applause. So, okay. <laughs> so, but, but now, now this is a you know, revolution is a very different book in the sense, like you said, it's about that small town, Hindi India, and so far my books have been aspirational, very IIT. I am. It's a, it's a little bit of a risk I've taken this time to do a book like that and still make it work. And, but uh, we are not talking about the book because we want people to read the book. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But what I want to understand first is that you, as an investment banker in Hong Kong, investment bankers have a tough job, right? Yeah. I mean, they they are working long hours. If they do a good job. If no, I wasn't a very <laughs> good <laughs> investment. <laughs> anyway, anyway, you weren't a very good investment. Well, yeah, because people assume oh, he was in an investment bank, you know, and people assume he's doing a good job. You know, like in banks, you do memos, like you do ten-page memos on a deal or deal summary. So I would do four pages of the memo. And on the fifth page, I'd start writing the book. And if my boss comes, scroll up, you know, <laughs> just like, you know, merge and an acquisition of Hong Kong sugar with this. So and your then it's first like, manuscript Ryan, had memos. And yeah, and then your page five, Nia said, "Why don't you kiss me?" It was like all over the place. <laughs> it was like, uh, yeah. So I don't know. I mean, I think I was doing a good job multitasking, but from the bank point of view. Uh, they'd rather have somebody who didn't bring the romance in those memos. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. it seems like you went to some of the toughest colleges um, yeah. and institutes, IIT, IIM, uh, in India, only to use it as fodder for your <laughs> books. I mean, it, it seems that that's where yeah, you know that I you mean, didn't bother like with the actual course. Why did I, you? Some say I even got married only for a story uh, because of two states is about that, <laughs> which is not completely incorrect. But huh? you, <laughs> so you're saying that your wife was just material for your book? Not just that. I I get to do other things with her. <laughs> <laughs> See again, you guys just this is what happened on the couch, man. I mean, you seriously. said it. Did I say anything? Uh, yeah, I know. This little cutting a lot of slack here. No, I got to do other things with her. Means like discuss life and you know. Yeah, that's what we did. Yeah, okay. I understand and you know plan a family together and the process. Well, you did get married very young. I mean, she's one yeah. of your college sweethearts. Yes. You were all of 24 when you got yes, married. Yes. Um, since then, you have become famous. I have myself been witness to girls propositioning you in public. In front of my wife. In front of your wife. In front of your mother. Um, yes. In front of your children. Yes. 